We just had a look at parallel compression for your beats to give a very hyped but still natural sound. You don't need to restrict yourself to your beats, of course. You can use it on anything you want. And you could take it a step further by compressing only the lows in your mix or in your beats or only the highs in your beats. But not just in the usual fashion, but do that in parallel like we just saw. Well, you can because Logic has a great multiband compressor built in. So let's try and see how that works out using the exact same technique as we just saw using sends to send our beats to this bus. I'll turn off these two and go into the dynamics and this is where we'll find the multipressor, the big guy. And for this trick you will want to put auto gain to on instead of off which is default. We're going to turn it on. And we'll put the look ahead to zero milliseconds because we don't want any delay between the compressed sound and the uncompressed sound, of course. We want these all to be in sync. So let's have a listen what this can do to our beats. Basically, by the way, you got just four compressors, each with their own area in the frequency spectrum. We've got the lows, we've got the low mids, the mids and the highs. Now let's say we don't want to compress the mids, so I'm going to put the, the mids threshold to 0 dB. And I'm just going to work with the low band and the high band. Pull it back a bit. And this is very hyped, of course, this sound alone, but what is it going to sound like if I just add a bit of that to the natural beats? See, so there is a lot of difference already. Let me just put this one back to zero. There we go. So this is working almost like an exciter. Let me just go ahead and uh, start the beats and fade this in slowly so you can get a feel for the difference. So that's a nice trick, isn't it? Multi-band parallel compression.